For Harry Steele, school break time is yet another opportunity to raise money. Today, it's the cake sale, and his fellow pupils at Churchill Community College in Walls End can't get enough of the treats on offer. The 11-year-old is a fundraising veteran, and it's all because of the tragedy he's experienced in his life. Round about now, Harry would be putting up the Christmas lights with his father, Steve, an annual tradition. But last year, his father died, just three weeks after the 61-year-old had been diagnosed with cancer. Harry was already grieving. His beloved uncle David had suffered a sudden cardiac death just 10 months earlier. Yeah, just get dressed up on Christmas Eve and go around delivering the presents. That was lovely, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, that, that was nice. For Harry, just remembering his father and uncle through family photographs was not enough. He needed to act. Everything he does is in memory of those two. Um, just, I mean, you, you, we never ever forget them, never. Like I say, we talk about them every day and, um, and that'll never ever stop. Um, I can just help people and then every day I do it, I help more, hopefully. <laughs> Harry has raised thousands of pounds, a sponsored bath in cold baked beans amongst his charity feats, and it's all with his father and uncle in mind. He's raising funds for the heart charity Cry and for Maggie's Cancer Care Centre in Newcastle, where his father was looked after. The modest schoolboy is quiet about his achievements, but his friends couldn't be prouder. I kind of look up to him um, as like a brother. He's like really inspirational for like doing all of these things and he's, also, he's really funny as well. Harry's extraordinary fundraising in the midst of his grief has won him a major award and from his mother, eternal gratitude. I just want to say, yeah, absolutely fantastic. You're an amazing kid. And I just love you so much and you yeah, just want to thank you for being me little rock. Thanks for being there. When I needed you. <laughs> Nina Nana, ITV News. Mm-hmm.